Sophie Ellis Bexter has whelmed her fifth child with husband Richard Jones. The singer confirmed the arrival of her son Mickey Jones on Instagram on Monday, as she gushed her baby boy is absolutely gorgeous while sharing a sweet snap of her newborn. In her post, Sophie's beau is seen cradling their new arrival, with the beauty pending alongside her upload. He's here. Mickey Jones born today weighing 7 pounds 1 ounce and he's absolutely gorgeous. Welcome to our quirky little family, sweet boy. We're so glad you're here safe. The arrival of Sophie's newborn may come as a shock to fans, as the murder on the dance floor hitmaker was seen appearing on Sunday brunch live just 24 hours prior to giving birth. She had appeared on the Channel 4 Sunday morning show alongside hosts Tim Lovejoy and Simon Rimmer and fellow guests. Gemma Atkinson, Eamon Holmes and wife Ruth Langsford, Spencer Matthews and his wife Vogue Williams, and singer Jade Bird. Sophie had cut a glamorous figure on the show, revealing that she was unaware of her unborn baby's sex. Quizzed about whether she was having a boy or a girl, Sophie replied, This one is a baby, for sure. I don't know what I'm having. I've never found out. She was asked whether she and husband Richard had been trying for a girl with Sophie playfully joking, obviously, we're trying for a boy. No, I would hate for any of my sons to think that they were an attempt to be someone else. They are all very wanted and very different. I will accept whoever is on their way. Although, she did admit she feels like I've been pregnant forever, Sophie said, maybe I'll never give birth. No, it's imminent. This little person is on their way. On whether she enjoys pregnancy, Sophie joked, I like the results before adding, I love the fact that we have a very busy, eccentric, chaotic family. I love incorporating what Richard and I do into our family life. He has been touring with me for the last three or four years now, as well as doing stuff with the feeling. I've been lucky to have him around. We'll take the baby with us, on tour. Meanwhile, following her birth announcement on Monday, Sophie has been inundated with congratulatory messages from fans. She is already mum to four boys she shares with husband Richard, Sonny, 14, Kit, 9, Ray, 6, and Jesse, 2. Mickey's arrival comes after Sophie insisted she doesn't get parenting right all the time in a candid interview on ITV's This Morning last month. She confessed, after having four kids still I would like advice. People say you know what you're doing but do I? Every new person in the family changes the dynamic. So I don't feel like I have it down. You embrace that you don't know and won't get it right all the time, but the intentions are good. She also confessed she gets frustrated with the constant questions around juggling work and babies for women, when my husband has never been asked about the children and he took them on tour with him. The answer to how do you manage it all, is boring for every working parent. You sort child care. She pointed out, revealing her mum, former Blue Peter legend Janet Ellis lives 10 minutes away and helps out regularly. Sophie confirmed her fifth pregnancy in August, casually dropping the baby bombshell during an interview on BBC Radio 2. Discussing her new music and its release, Sophie left listeners stunned as she announced her album, The Song Diaries, will be released at the same time she is due to give birth, having kept quiet on her pregnancy until her interview. Sophie causally revealed, the album will come out around the same time as my fifth infant because I'm having my fifth baby. Mental. Host Chris Evans asked the pop star if pregnancy and being a parent ever gets easier, given the number of her brood, with Sophie simply replying, no, I don't think it does. She went on to add, but you get more relaxed with the chaos, says the woman who just, we just went away Richard and I with five kids, because our eldest brought him eight and I took a book which seemed like the most optimistic thing I could have done. It didn't even get open, that's without baby. But I have got a two-year-old. Following news of her pregnancy, Sophie has since revealed that she was forced to push back the release of her new orchestral greatest hits album, as it was originally scheduled for release on her due date. It will now drop in March. Sophie has previously stated that she thinks having children has helped her career instead of hindering it. She explained, Motherhood, has made me a better performer, a better artist, a happier person. It's evolving. For me, it was a massive deal for me to have my kids. It made me think differently about things. I wouldn't say it's harder. In fact, I think it's made a lot of things have real clarity for me, 
Actually, I wouldn't have done half the things I've done if I hadn't become a mom. The vocal talent also claimed that it has been better for her being a mother that works in showbiz compared to in an office, as she has more freedom when it comes to childcare. I get to decide which days I work. If you're doing an office job, you can't say can my kids sit in the corner? It's not an option, she said, revealing that she has had the help of a full-time nanny to enable her to work. Sophie and her beau Richard, a bassist for Band of Feeling, have been together since 2002, with both previously admitting in interviews that they didn't expect their romance to last. In 2013, Richard told The Guardian, we met in a rehearsal room in 2002, when Sophie was auditioning musicians for her band. The first thing she said to me was, nice amp. I was taken aback. I got the gig. I remember looking at her across the room and thinking she was this otherworldly beauty. The idea of ever going out with someone like that wasn't even a possibility. Sophie also said, our relationship was dramatic early on. We found out we were having a baby when we'd only been dating for six weeks. Then I gave birth two months early. So, comically, our baby was born when we'd only been going out for eight months. The singer revealed her mother had told her it might feel like the wrong time but it's the right baby. Sophie and Richard married in 2005, three years after initially getting together.